everyone, Karen Roby here with Matt Miller for ZDNet, uh, talking today about a review of the Galaxy Z Fold 2. And Matt, you had a, a, some, some logistics uh, issues trying to get, the, get your hands on the phone, but you finally have it in your possession. So off the top, what are your thoughts here? It's pretty awesome. I, um, I, I get this review unit for a couple of weeks, and I have to say, after just one day with it, I already placed my pre-order for my own. <laughs> wow. That's yeah. Quite an endorsement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. I'll I'll go, I'll go into some details about why, but yeah. uh, it's a pretty exciting phone. You know, this is definitely not for the faint of heart. I mean, it's a two thousand dollar phone. Um, it's it's for specific users and uh, people like me who are really into the tech and want to see the future, right? So, um, here's the hardware. Um, as you can see, there's an outside display on it, and then of course the the big kicker of it is the inside, right? The big, huge, gigantic display. Wow, um, that looks really, <laughs> really nice. That's super it's, cool. It it's is. Been in, it's been increased to 7.6 inches. So it, wow. it's, a, it's yeah, really nice. Mini iPad. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good size. Yeah, it's like a, you know, and that's the thing, right? It's, it's for those people who want a phone that can do a little bit more and want a tablet and a phone in one. Now, you know, iPads are pretty cheap, right? You can get an iPad for 300 bucks now, and it's a great tablet. A bunch of other Samsung tablets are great tablets too. And then there's a plethora of phones, right? You can get a low cost Google Pixel and all this, but there's very few devices that have this in one. And I have to say, just for productivity things, it's really hard for me to use um, a regular phone and, and do a lot of Excel work, for example. Whereas something like this that has the tablet with you and the convenience of having both in one is what really sets it apart. But I'll kind of run through things. So on the back, a big difference you can see. So this is the, this is the Note 20 Ultra that just launched um, this month. And this is the Z Fold 2. So the camera arrays are now very similar. They've really bumped up the rear cameras on the Z Fold 2 not quite to the level of the of the Note 20 Ultra, but they are very, very capable. There's three cameras on the back. They're all 12 megapixels. There's a telephoto, there's a wide angle. So compared to something like the Surface Duo that's launching soon with one camera, this thing has the camera chops that you need. You're not gonna compromise at all with this device on the camera, right? And the some of the big hardware things I'll kind of talk about is, is the hinge. The hinge is um, something that was in the last one um, as well, the, if you remember, remember the first one, there was one before that that really kind of failed. This one kind of came with a lot of improvements. And one of them is a sweeper technology inside it. So it actually has like little broom bristles in there to keep the dust from getting inside the hinge. But another key improvement is the thing called CAMS technology. So you can now actually open the display and it will stay at different angles. Whereas before it would kind of open and then kind of flop and then it'll go all the way to, to, to 180. Now you can rest it at di different angles. And with that, they have this new thing called flex mode where you can actually have like on a Google Duo call, you can have the person up here and then controls down here. So there's a, there's a way with this flex mode that it splits and creates it dynamically as kind of a dual screen device without you doing anything just by the opening and closing of the hinge at a different angle. That is so that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, I like that. And um, I mean, I, I kind of just roll into it, but another major improvement, I don't know if you remember the first fold that I had, but it had a very small 4.6 inch display with huge bezels around it. Right. I kind of had some utility out of it, but everybody complained about it. Mm -hmm. This one, I mean, that is 6.2 inches. There's barely a bezel around it. So it's pretty much, it's narrow, but it's pretty much a full smartphone just on the outside display, right? Right. Um, one thing, I'll just jump into, uh, I thought I had the web browser open. One thing that's really nice, right? So they have the new uh, app continuity has been improved. So if you have a app open on the outside, you open it up, it opens up that same app on the inside as well. So you can just continue working right from the outside to the inside. It also has multi-window layout improvements, right? So in my articles, I have some screenshots of two apps side by side and using those apps. And now you can easily drag over other apps and have three apps open, two on one side, one on the other. 
And then you can really easily just tap the center and align them horizontally or vertically, whatever you like, right? But a big improvement, and this is something that I asked, I was hoping for that Samsung would make some software improvements. You can actually tap on certain objects, for example, a picture in a web browser and drag it across into a text message or something. So there's, there's drag and drop support, which is something that we've seen in the, in the Surface Duo videos and things, but it hasn't come to the Samsung until now, which is a pretty big improvement for using this as a productivity device. Uh, just kind of running through the hardware. So this inside display is 7.6 inches. The outside is 6.2 inches. It's a Snapdragon 865 Plus, Android 10. Um, something that's a little bit different is it only has one RAM and storage option. It's 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 storage. There's no longer any more options. The only real options are in the color. So it has Mystic Bronze, which I'm testing out, and then also a Mystic Black, which is that matte finish glass. And then they do give you a customization option for the hinge. This one is the Mystic Bronze with a Mystic Bronze hinge, but you can actually get metallic silver, metallic gold, metallic red, and metallic blue. For my personal device I ordered, it was a Mystic Black with a metallic blue hinge. So there's about a four week wait for those custom hinge options that you can order. Wow. Uh, let's see, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, it does have a, uh, fingerprint scanner is over on the side. The power button is a fingerprint scanner. There's a couple of volume buttons there. Um, it, it does have a 4,500 milliampere battery in the form of two batteries. So there's a battery in each half and then they're wired together for 4,500. I've now had this device uh, for almost two days and um, I saw yesterday three and a half hours of screen on time with 50% battery left. So even though it's a huge display, and I, I pretty much have been living on this, the big open display, it's uh, able to, you know, get you through at least a full day, no problem. Wow, that's that's really, I mean, there's some pretty significant, you know, changes or improvements here, Matt. Yeah, absolutely. And when you know, when you when you compare it, let's say, uh, you know, to the original Galaxy Fold, and, and you've gone over a couple of the improvements, but what what are the biggest differences? Do you think? Yeah, I, th I think, I mean, when you, uh, when you just hold the device, you can feel, I mean, the last one was pretty amazing as well. But if you notice, it's, it's kind of hard to see in a video, but the gap here has been narrowed quite a bit. There used to be a pretty significant between the two displays. Um, and so the hinge mechanism that I mentioned with the cams and the sweep has been improved. Um, you still see it's hard to, maybe you can see it in the, if I angle it, you can still see there is a slight ridge in the middle where the screen folds into it. Um, that is still there. However, a big thing to know is this actually uses the new glass that Samsung has put into the Z Flip, the other flip uh, portrait device. So there's actually a layer of glass on this with also a protective screen protector on top of that. But before it was all different kinds of plastic that were used. Now they're using a improved glass material. So the screen should be a little bit better and longer term lasting. Um, also a big improvement in the last one, we saw a huge notch up here. It was, it was, it took a, almost the whole top of the screen. That's where a bunch of cameras and sensors were located. Now Samsung has expanded that out the, the bezels are 27% less than on the last one. And that whole area up top has been removed and just has a hole punch camera in the front. There's a 10 megapixel hole punch camera, just like any other smartphone in there now. So lots of improvements in the display. Also a huge display improvement I almost forgot about. On this big, massive 7.6 inch display, it's using Samsung's new adaptive refresh technology. So it will adapt from 11 hertz all the way up to 120 hertz. So as you're scrolling around, as you're moving around, it's a very fluid experience. Samsung has this new technology also in the Note 20 Ultra series. Um, but that's it. Once you, I don't know if you've, most smartphones are 60 hertz refresh rate, but if you ever then go and try this 120 hertz and you start scrolling around and stuff, you'll never go back. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. Right, right quite spoiled with that. Do you feel like you have to hold, like handle it with kid gloves though, or does it feel pretty hardy? Oh no, it's a, it's a pretty hefty device. I mean, it weighs in at 282 grams. It's, it's, um, it's long and 
you know, it's kind of long. It feels like a brick of gold or something like that, right? But as I learned on the last fold that I, I had it for a couple months and I've talked to a lot of people that kept that original fold all the way through and they say, you know, there was some care instructions and stuff, but they just used it as a regular phone. And a year later, they all report that they've had great experiences with it. So I, I haven't, you know, it's not as fragile as everybody makes it to believe it. And the way that the new hinge with the cams in there, it feels so solid. I mean, that, that is pretty amazing technology with all the little gears in there. Um, it's not fragile, not like you would think, right? I, I've had other devices before that you want to hold with kid gloves. I mean, this doesn't have an IP rating, so you should go out and go running with it in the rain and stuff. But again, I've got a buddy that uh, takes his biking and he says, you know, he hasn't had problems with it. So, right, right. Well, I would imagine you would, you know, for a $2,000 phone, <laughs> people would, would probably be pretty gentle with it. But, yeah, um, absolutely. you know, our phones are an extension of our, our hands basically now. So, um, Matt, talk about uh, here before we finish up, uh, comparing this to the LG V60. How do you, how, do, how does it match up? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I, I posted an article about this because if you remember the V60 and the LG Velvet, kind of the same idea with the, uh, with the big dual screen display hinge uh, cover that's on there. That cover on the LGs offers a 6.8 inch display in addition to the display of the phone. So you get two 6.8 inch displays. And I was, at first I was like, there's no way that uh, the LG could match up with what the Fold does. But if you, you know, I ran through, I think, 10 apps in my article and kind of did side by side with the apps and then flipped the display. Cause you can, you can flip this up right like this and watch a movie on this outside display. So I did all these kind of things. And the LG does stand, stand up pretty well because you get a bigger screen experience on that outside the screen, screen and things. But it doesn't have the software chops that Samsung has with the drag and drop, with the app continuity. The thing is the LG solution is about half the price. <laughs> so there is some benefit to it, but uh, I don't know. Having the ability to have this with you all the time is both a phone and a tablet is a pretty big selling point for me. You know, the LG, you do have to consciously have that cover with you. It's a lot bulkier. Um, but, you know, I, I'm the kind of guy that, that doesn't mind paying $2,000 for a really nice phone. So I don't think, I don't know if the masses will adopt it. But, uh, you know, this year, last year when it launched, it was um, on Samsung, mm -hmm. but it was also locked to AT&T in most cases. And this year, all the carriers are going to have it. It's unlocked on Samsung, so you can order it without having to worry about your carrier. That's yeah. another big improvement I forgot to mention yeah, yeah. Is, the, is the 5G. I mean, uh -huh. that, that's a pretty massive improvement over last year's Fold as well. Sure, sure. Yeah, well, and like you said at the beginning, there, you know, there will be, at a $2,000 price point, there will be very specific buyers, much like yourself, uh, that you know are out to get their hands on this, but I, I was just amazed when you opened it up. I mean, it really is very seamless when you, you oh yeah, the screen there. It it really is. It's yeah, and then it just pops back out to the outside one too. So wow, it's, wow. It, you, you really need to get your hands on it if you haven't ever tried one before. It's a yeah, it's a lot of fun. Exactly. Yeah, I and my you. my family keeps looking at me as I'm sitting over there. You know, because you can do a lot of work on a screen yeah. of that size that's with you all the time. And they're, they're always looking over there like, oh man, I wish we had a phone like that. Oh, oh I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because like you said, trying to do, you know, an Excel spreadsheet or something on a, you know, an, an iPhone or something like that. Or, I mean, it, it, that can be difficult. So right. to do some of those things, you know, uh, right there on your phone really is, that's a, you know, a big advantage. Absolutely. And that's something, you know, the, the Note series and even all the Samsung, Samsung for a while, even ahead of Android and Google has had the ability to split screen, right? To, to have two apps on the display and things. But I, I actually tried, I've, I've tried doing that. I'm kind of a power user, but even as a power user, when you try to put it on something like a Note 20 Ultra, yeah, you can have a small display up here and a small here. So you can view a little bit, but as soon as you try to enter any text or anything, well, then a keyboard pops up. So now you can't see, it's really kind of useless in my opinion. I mean, it's a nice gimmick and there's maybe a case here and there, but it's more something like this with a big display that makes much more sense with that whole split screen uh, evolution in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely it does. And I, well, I, I guess it would suffice it to say you are, overall very pleased uh excited 
about this phone. And, and as you mentioned, you've already put your, your order in. Right? <laughs> yeah. And it's only been a few days that I've been using it. I mean, there's a, there's a lot to explore. And, and my main, you know, as I work on my full in-depth review, I'm really focused on the software experiences because yep. there's a lot of uh, functionality in the camera. I didn't even talk about the cameras, but um, Samsung has done a bunch of work in how you interact with the camera. Mm -hmm. For example, you know, with the, with the rear cameras being much better than the 10 megapixel front pacing camera, you right. can actually have a mode where you use the rear cameras and then the preview appears on this display. So you can take selfies with the rear cameras that gives you more options, right? right. So there's, there's a bunch of options in, in how you can use this device. And for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be really diving into the software experiences on it. Yeah, and I'm sure you will be writing about those and <laughs> for uh, for everyone for everyone to read. Well, great, um, Matt. I certainly appreciate you being here uh, with us, and of course, for much more on the the Galaxy Z Fold Two, you need to check out ZDNet. Matt uh, has articles up there, and and more to come. I'm sure, Matt, as you spend more time with this and your family looking at you like, is he ever going to put it down? <laughs> That's right. Well, it's Labor Day weekend. I now have a three day weekend to play with it. So. <laughs> See, perfect timing. <laughs> All right. Well, all of you out there, make sure you check out ZDNet. We certainly appreciate you watching us here today.